Hi, this is Suffer Jerome, and today I want to talk to you a bit about K2 meters. Um, if you've never used a K2 meter, this is uh, something that can be kind of exciting to use when you're ghost hunting. Um, they usually look like this, and uh, they, they may look different. And so what happens is, um, what they're really measuring is electricity. So if there's uh, some electrical currents occurring uh, in, a, in a room, the, the lights will flash. And so the best thing to do when you're ghost hunting is to go around the establishment before uh, you are actually on the investigation and just get a sense of where the electrical currents are. Um, test your device around light switches, furnaces, things like that, and figure out what the average baseline reading of your uh, device is and where the electrical currents might be. So if you can really est establish a baseline um, before you start your ghost hunting, then that'll help you eliminate what might be false readings later on, especially when everyone's getting excited and scared and, and stuff and, and then the K2 meters flashing, but it really might just be the furnace kicking on, the air conditioning kicking on, it could be a passing street car. It could be someone's phone ringing inside of their pocket or uh, even doing a data upgrade. Uh, so, uh, you know, it is very important to try, if at all possible, not to have your cell phones with you uh, when you are conducting an investigation and using the K2 meters uh, because there are so many different ways that the K2 meter can be set off with a false reading. Uh, you can use the K2 meter to actually talk to the ghosts. Uh, you ask it a question and then you ask and then you tell it you know when it, when it answers uh, that it can flash up to red uh, basically what happens is um, on the k2 meter there's uh, five little dots there's dark green light green yellow orange and then red um, so when the light goes up to red uh, that you that, you know all the lights are flashing it's like Las Vegas it's really exciting and so you can try and have a conversation with the spirit entity that's in the room by asking yes and no questions and then it can respond to you uh, but the, yes the best thing to be sure though is to walk around the place before you're ready to do your investigation and make notes on where there's electrical current activity happening and then you'll be able to figure out how to best use your device to find your ghost. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day and I'll talk to you more about K2 meters again. Bye-bye for now.